Hi, it's Debbie with the Question Queens, and I just found another short, but this one is Adam Calhoun, and <laughs> just, the <laughs> I don't even know what is going to happen, but I'm sure it's going to be great. It says, and women can't handle most jobs men have. Well, from what I have learned of Adam, he's pretty mainly man. I would say he's one with his masculinity. How about that? Which is good. I love masculinity. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's see what he says or what happens. I really don't know. It's going to be good, though, because it says, Adam Calhoun, don't worry, I got you. Okay. Hi, I'm sorry. Can you name one job that men have besides being a misogynistic asshole that women can't do? Oh. <laughs> Ma'am. Hi, I'm sorry. Can you name one job that men have besides being a misogynistic asshole that women oh can't do? <laughs> Ma'am. He could have actually even had a spider just crawl across the thing and just whacked it. <laughs> we won't do that either. I will run miles and I will run. My heart will be pounding. I will die. I will sweep up. I will suck up a spider in a vacuum and put the entire vacuum outside. I, oh my gosh, that was great. That was great. And you know what? If she really wants to know any other answers to that question, go watch Mike um, Rowe on Dirty Jobs. Holy crap. There's 82,000 jobs out there that men do that I would never do. That we can't do. I'm not strong enough to do it. I'll give you an example. I had some groceries delivered today. And this lovely couple, which I ended up talking to him for probably way too long, and I probably, you know, anyway, but I'm, that's just how I am. So the guy, he, I ordered six packs of Diet Coke, and I ordered, they had them three for something, so I ordered six of them. He was carrying all six of them in his hands, all six. I was so mesmerized, <laughs> I'm like, What's it like to be able to do that? Because I can barely carry one in each hand. And you're just like so freaking strong. And she goes, he really is. I'm like, you've got to be proud. You really do. Now that's reality. I hope to goodness that all these young women really are not thinking the way this woman is because she's so misguided. And clearly has no wisdom yet. She has not lived on her own and fully understood the world. She's so sheltered and in a bubble. Well, anyway, that's the video. I thought that was freaking hilarious. Open a pickle jar. <laughs> all right. Well, I will see you all really soon. Oh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, do that on your way out. And I'll see you soon. Bye.